Come on, Wade. We sold a place in Columbus just back in just back in September and it had been Yeah, we just gotta turn this up a little bit. Take the silius. What do you guys anything in particular or? we're gonna discuss practice and we practice again tomorrow. We practice in the mornings right now. Mm -hmm. So that's about it. And how long will you guys be meeting? A couple hours. Okay. Why do you want to come in or something? Anything I can stick my nose into. Shoot, you can come little, in if you want. A little film study? Yeah. Anything. Yeah. You know, I'm just kind of winging it. This is my first trip, so. Okay. But so I'd you love guys to... aren't leaving right after this? Mm -mm. And he takes over the defending Big East champs, and Coach Butch Jones tells us what he thinks about this year's Bearcats. It's all on College Football Live. Here we come. <laughs> defending Big East champs, the Cincinnati Bearcats have a new head coach in Butch Jones, and aspirations of repeating as conference champions. And while it's been a different kind of spring in the Queen City, there's still a lot of optimism on campus. What has been the biggest adjustment you've had to make coming to a new program that you didn't expect to have to make? Well, you know what? It's been a really smooth transition, and there really hasn't been any big changes. You know, our kids have been outstanding, you know, coming in, obviously, and inst installing a new offense, defense, and special teams. You know, I think also in the process, not only myself, but our staff have been through this. We've done this before. So I think that's helped uh, aid in the transition as well. Is it tougher when you have college-age kids to have them transition to a new offense or a new defense? You know what, uh, usually the, the, it takes a little bit longer offensively, just with the little nuances and the tempo. And, you know, we use a phrase that you can't t let the mind tie the feet up. And we've been kind of going through that a little bit. But, you know, it, it's extremely difficult defensively, too. But I would say overall, probably offense. Now, the spring game coming up on Saturday, what are you most anxious to see from your team? Well, we're treating it as, as another practice. It's another rehearsal. And, you know, we've talked to our kids that they're building their own identities, you know, everything they do, both on the field and off the field. So it's an exciting time, you know, to see how our kids will respond when the lights go on. And we're going to have a great crowd. It's going to be a great environment. It should be a great uh, dress rehearsal for the 2010 Bearcats. Well, we're excited to watch the spring game on Saturday. Thank you very much for your time, Coach. And we'll let you get back to your team. Well, as always, thanks again. But the one thing that you and I know as former players, that having that culture and that expectation that they have in that locker room now is outstanding. Mm -hmm. Cincinnati expects to be a good football team. Last year, nobody was really giving them any chance, any luck, because they were losing everybody on defense, right? They said, no, Cincinnati's not going to be any good. Well, they were wrong about that because of the culture at Cincinnati's locker room. Zach Caleros, last year at South Florida, we're doing the game Thursday night, and Tony Pike goes down, broken hand or something again. Yeah. Caleros comes in on the first series, the game plan goes from throwing the ball with Pike, he went 80 <laughs> yards on the ground. He can and run the ball. I think Zach Caleros is a heck of a quarterback. Uh, well, Kerry Combs, definitely wants forever. He 